Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Fifi Kemo and this is Fifi K Show. This video is brought to you today by World Financial Group. World Financial Group is a financial services that provides you life insurance and retirement uh, accounts. So I'm a member of Life Financial Group. And that are, if you need more information, you can contact me and I will give you more explanation. Please, before I start, can you please click like button and subscribe to my channel. And I really appreciate when you click and comment at the same time. So I'm going to share how you can pay down your debt quickly and easily and with, you know, few methods that I would like to share. So we have a lot of methods how to pay down on a debt. To have this financial freedom, we need to be debt free because it's not easy when you have all kind of debt, all kind of credit card, and you have you have to build some kind of financial future. It's not going to work because if your paycheck is all going to your debt, you don't have no future. So what we need to do is pay down our debt. How do we do it? You can use Dave Ramsey method that is death snowball. We pay from smallest to the highest. For example, if you have three credit cards, one is $5,000 balance remaining. Another one is like $5,000 remaining. Another one is maybe $10,000 remaining. What should you do? You need to make sure this $1,000 can be gone in one or two months. So whatever amount that you're paying that you're trying to increase it on pay that divide that by three depending on your situation or by four depending on your situation pay down 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 one thousand but while you're paying that one thousand quickly you pay the minimum pay minimum payment in other one so you don't get penalized on that when you finish paying the one thousand whatever amount extra you have put in there you add it to the second one that is five thousand you add it there plus the minimum payment you were paying there and pay that one off. So when you finish it, you add that one plus the minimum payment on the second one, you add in the third one and the plus the minimum payment and you pay it off gradually. So that's the only way you can pay down that debt. You know, that's, an, that's a, one of the methods you can use it to pay down the debt. So you can be free because you're trying to pay the minimum payment as the credit card company has requested. You will never finish paying it because the interest team piling up, piling up, and piling up. So trying to pay that down. Though the second method that I share also is called pay, uh, <coughs> debt avalanche. So the debt avalanche has, uh, require you to start paying the higher interest so if you have three credit card another one is 30 percent one is 20 percent another one is 15 percent you start paying the one is 30 percent quicker by you know the same method i say pay more money there so you can finish paying that high interest balance first that's another method that you can use so you have to check use check which one is good for your situation you know you have to do your own research see which one is good for your situation and when you use that you pay that one down it will help you to decrease the interest rate on that high interest one so another method is a balance transfer balance the lot of main credit card of the discover city group you know capital one they have this method they want to attract customer to them so what did they do they have this promotional uh, uh, thing they do or oh, if you do your balance transfer to us for example if i have five thousand in one of my credit card that i go apply for that uh, discover card that i'll say i want a tr balance transfer they will charge me three percent to transfer that my five thousand to them but I, they will give me zero percent interest for maximum they say tw maximum they will give is 24 months usually they have 15 months they have 18 months and they have 24 months so if you're able to find one that will give you that 24 months that is one year that you're going to be uh, two years pardon that you're going to be used to pay that down five thousand dollar without adding additional interest that's another 
best method that I have used that before. So yet another method that you can use. So when you transfer all your card on that account, now you have one payment instead of multiple payment. You have one payment you're going to be paying that I advise you do not pay the minimum because they want to have you to pay them. That's a bank function. So you have to pay, you know, according to, you know, depending on your situation, you pay more. You can divide that money now in the 24 month. If I have to pay this money in 24 months, how much will I pay per month? So you divide that and see if you're able now to pay that money in 24 months so you can pay that without paying additional interest. So you just, to do that, you have to do some little bit, maybe side hustle to put into it so you can have some kind of sleep night because when you your head is full of debt, you cannot sleep. You're thinking about what should you do? What should I do? You know, you don't need those kind of sleepless nights because you don't not able to pay off your credit card. That's uh, you know the best method that many people are using to pay down the debt. You just make sure you pay it off before the twenty-four month because you don't finish. They pull all those interests in the the remaining balance, and it's going to be tough again for you to pay. So that's uh, and uh, another method. So. The next method I would like to share is called like Velocity Banking that I have used that I have shared it before to pay off my car. You go apply for credit card. You have this loan that you have taken to do whatever and the interest is on that loan. What should you do? You go apply for a credit card that is say they have cash advance. What they get card advance that they borrow you cash to do something. So you they will take 3% and that I always I use the one that is going to give me 0% APR for 24 months. So that I don't pay them a dime when I'm taking giving them the money back. So I borrow the money, take the uh, cash advance and pay off my high interest loan. So like, for example, that you have that 10K loan that you borrow to do something, to do some kind of work in your house or whatever you have used the money for, you needed the money at the time, but you did not have. So now this loan now is on your neck. You're not able to pay it off because of X, Y, Z. So you go apply for this card, cash advance, and you take the cash advance, you go pay the 10K full, no, in, no question asked there. You pay them. You don't owe them anything anymore. Now you owe this 10K that you need to pay in 24 months. What should you do? Divide the 10K in for, by 24. How much you going to be paying? You calculate that and that you stick to it and you pay that every month, every month, every month for that 24 months and you're going to be debt free. You pay off the money within the 24 months. So you don't owe them anything. They give you the money, you use it, and you pay back to them without any interest. What's the best thing to do? What's the best way? It's like janggi that we sometimes we do. You took the janggi, you pay back just the same way that when you use that money, it's like you took the janggi or the susu, however, you use it in your language, you know, you use it and you pay it back. That's some, that's how it works. And that when you do that, you free from that high interest. And from now on, do not accumulate any more debt. How do you do that? You have to have emergency fund. You have to have three to six months on your emergency fund. So when things happen, you go to that emergency fund, you grab it, you come solve the problem and you start putting it back little by little, not at once. I will don't build emergency fund in one day. That's how you should know. You start your emergency fund, you do it gradually, gradually, gradually. So you have to see like how much you spend every month for your rent, for your mortgage, for your food, for your water bill, for your electric bill. How much is it per month? trying to have that on emergency fund for two, 
three to six months, at least three months, or at least have minimum one month on that expense in your high heel saving account. So when things happen, you don't go swap your credit card with 30% interest and sit down and cry how to pay it back. But when you have that emergency fund, you go there, you grab it, you pay your emergency fund, and you're free. You pay, you solve your emergency, and you're free. You don't owe nobody nothing. You don't owe the credit card nothing, and your mind is free. This is what this channel is all about. You have to have some kind of base, something where you can lean on when things happen. And things will always happen. That's how you need life insurance. You need life insurance. It's a must. You need it because things will happen. When things happen, what is your plan B? How to solve it? If you're the only breadwinner in your family, what is your plan B? When things happen, it will happen. No matter what, we're not here for, a, for eternity. Things will happen. And we have to have plan in, to, you know, in place to solve those problems. So uh, you have to contact me for your, you know, through this World Financial Group. You have to contact me how I can protect you, protect your money, protect yourself. You cannot be buy insurance for your car, buy insurance for your nail. Some people do nail, they buy insurance on it. So if they break, they go back to the salon and they fix it back. But they don't have life insurance on themselves. So this is what I'm advocating here. We have to have some kind of protection for our finances, for our family, for ourselves. So we don't, the, the family don't get homeless when things happen. Nobody should be homeless when they have worked all their life and they have saved the money to do different things that is not useful for them. So that's how this channel is all about. Please share and subscribe to my channel. Comment below so I can be still be able to come here and share ideas how we can have financial freedom for you, for me, for your child, for your grandchild, for anybody that you meet. And you have to share this channel. Share to your friends, share to your family, share to your children so they should know what to do with money when they start working, when they should know what to do with money when things happen. They should know how to plan their life. You know, you have to share this channel. Please, uh, thank you so much for listening to me. And thank you for sharing. I love you all.